Cruise News Today with Doug Parker. A former cruise ship could see itself at the bottom of the ocean. Yeah, following the SS United States facing eviction from its Philadelphia dock over unpaid rent, Florida has stepped up with an option. Escambia County in Florida has proposed sinking the ship as an artificial reef in the Gulf of Mexico to boost local tourism and the scuba diving industry. The estimated cost for this plan is $8.6 million, with $3 million pledged by the Florida Fish and Wildlife Commission and additional funds from private diving operators. Although the Conservancy would rather see the ship be transformed into a maritime attraction or a museum instead of sinking it, the Conservancy has raised $150,000 from nearly 1,000 supporters to try to find a new temporary berth. And Princess Cruises will introduce the Medallion Net Max, a faster and more advanced Wi-Fi plan. The new service, part of the Princess Plus and Princess Premier packages, promises higher performance connectivity using SpaceX's Starlink satellites. Medallion Net Max will offer speeds from 50 to 150 megabytes per second by installing Wi-Fi access points in every stateroom on the ship. To showcase this new service, a Minecraft competition was held on board the Enchanted Princess yesterday. And MSC Cruises will be featured in the upcoming Formula One movie, F1, starring Brad Pitt, produced by Apple Original Films and Warner Brothers. The film follows Pitt as a former F1 driver who is making a comeback. Filming the movie took place during actual Grand Prix weekends. F1 will release globally next June. MSC has been a Formula One partner since 2022. And cruise line stocks were down on Wednesday. Carnival Corporation down 3.7%, 14.01. Royal Caribbean down 2%, 147.53. Norwegian down 4.3%, 14.84. And Viking down 2.4%, 32.46. A lead on a story? Drop it our way. Tips at cruiseradio.net. Have yourself a great Thursday. I'm Doug Parker with Cruise News Today.